The rapper who confesses too much on his songs. I cheat on my girl. Yeah. I cheat on my girl. Every day. Damn. I cheat on my girl. How many times? I cheat on my girl. Every day. Yo, this is a banger, bro. <laughs> Yo, thanks, Pat. What are you calling it? Shit, it's called cheating on my girl. And in brackets, every day. So you cheat on your girl every day? Of course. That's light. And your girl's cool with like hearing it on your songs? Yeah, and she also told me to stop drinking, but I still do that shit. Hey guys, surprise! Oh shit! Hey, you what's up, Ashley? Hey babe, what are you doing here? Well, I left work a little early and I thought I'd bring you some lunch. Oh, that's mad sweet of you. You can go home now. No, babe, I actually have time to hang out. I've never been here before. I want to see you guys are working on. Nah, babe, you don't need to be here. It's boring. And besides, we haven't really done much today, so... You, what do you mean? We just recorded a whole song. Oh, really? Can I hear it? <laughs> nah, babe, he's bugging. We didn't record a song. We've just been chilling. Wait, is this song about me? <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, kind of. That's so sweet. No wonder why you've been acting so weird. You've been trying to hide the surprise. <laughs> okay, I need to hear it. Yo, I got you, Ash. Yo, chill. You what? Yeah, what is it? Uh, nothing. Uh, it's, it's just not done yet, and I want to make sure you get the, the full experience. Hey, yo, Blink. Yo, there's some beef on 4th and 5th Avenue. We gotta take this man out. Yo, that's crazy, fam. Good luck with that. The rapper who lies too much in the songs. What? Yo, we need you. That, that's why we came here. Why do you need me? We heard your song, Too Many Guns. And we know you're strapped up. Fire song, by the way. Huge fact. Me too. Me too. Me too. Wait, what? That sounds kind of dangerous, don't you think? And I'm not actually strapped up. It's 100% gonna be dangerous. <laughs> that's why we need you for backup. Backup? <laughs> nah, I can't be no backup. You know that other song you got, Die For My Crew? Yeah, what about it? Today's that day. For what? Where you die for your crew. Nah, I, I was just joking when I wrote that. I didn't really mean it. Oh my god, babe, that's so cute. You can die for your homies. Oh, no, right no, no, no. Today's not the day. I don't want to die for my crew, babe. Watch babe, please, help boys, me. Bye, boys. Bye, babe. Days, have bro. fun. Please, take me next week. Broski. The rapper who uses voicemails in his songs. You and Veer. Hey, Lil D. What's good? Yo, I just finished my new song. Do you want to hear it? Yeah, sure. Let's hear it. All right, cool. I call this Heartache O'Clock. Cool. Hey, Danny. I, I just found out my parents are getting a divorce and I needed someone to talk to. Bro, this is the toughest time of my life, so when you get the chance, just oh, wait please call me back. Hey, yo, not doing cut so this. Dude, what is it? It's about to get to the sad part about your parents divorcing. Is that the same voicemail that I left you last week? Yeah, it is. But in the rap industry, it's actually called a sample. So I sampled your voicemail. Broski, you can't use my voicemail in your song. Oh, dude, why not? Cause that's mad personal. I told you that in confidence. And I just took it, you didn't even call me back. <sighs> Renvir, listen, I, I've always believed that music is at its best when it comes from personal experience. But they're my personal experiences. You know what? Let me just show you my second single. It's called Losing Custody. And it goes like this. Hey Danny, just wanted to let you know that my wife's taking everything from me, even my kids. Been fighting for so long, but... Broski, cut it! I just it. found out I lost custody. What is it now, man? Fam, that's a voicemail about my custody battle. Yeah, I know, but I pitched your voice, so they won't even know it's you. Oh, uh, by the way, it's Revere. Your boy? Uh, call me back. Um, I, I can cut that out. The rapper with unrealistic expectations. Hey, Robert, you wanted to see me? Hey, Blinks, what's up, man? Yeah, yeah, have a seat, have a seat. What's up? First of all, uh, thank you so much for hiring me to film your first ever music video. Uh, it's pretty exciting, but I was kind of going through your lyrics and I, I just have some questions. What's good? So just to clarify, um, you want a visual for everything that you say in the song? That's correct. Like, no matter what you say, you need a visual. That's what I hired you for. Okay, um, well if that's the case, then I have some concerns. Concerns? About what? Well, first off, your opening line goes, chilling in Japan with Manveer, Brad, and Chad at the Four Seasons with a drink in my hand? <laughs> Shit, those lyrics are hot. What's the problem? Blinks. Uh, in order to get you, me, 
your boys and all of my equipment to Japan, it's gonna cost a lot of money. And, and why does it have to be the Four Seasons? Why can't it just be like the Motel 6 or something? Uh, something cheaper. Rob, it's gonna be a sick shot, bro. You just gotta believe in my vision. No, no, I, I, I see your vision, but can we just green screen it somehow, maybe? Nah, man, we gotta go to Japan. <sighs> Oh, okay, of course, but why does Manveer, Brad, and Chad have to come? Look, they're my boys. I don't think I'm asking for much. You're not asking for much? Dude, your next line is literally hop in a jet with Jeff Bezos and fly to space to NASA's command post. How are we supposed to get to space? Man, are you trying to trash my artistic vision? Yes! Because it's an expensive artistic vision. Ayo, chill, Rob. Scrap the first verse. What about the second one? You think we make that work? Your second verse is even worse than the first one. Dude, the opening line for the second verse literally goes, I got girls, yeah, I got loads. Walk away from a building while it explodes? What'd you think? We can pull that off, right? Dude, I'm just the guy you hired from your high school, not Michael fing Bay. The rapper's on a budget. Hello, FR Studios, how may I help you? Uh, hi, we were just looking for a studio to record in. Mm hmm. And what kind of studio we're looking to book? What are your options? Um, well, we have the butterfly room available. Yo, that sounds sick. Yeah, that's perfect. How much is it? $150 an hour. Ooh. Yo, that's mad expensive. Do you have anything cheaper than that? Yes, uh, we have the blue room available for $90 an hour. You know what? You know what? Just, just go to the bottom of the list and just tell me what your cheapest room is, okay? Please. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a good call still. Well, that would be the underground room for five dollars an hour. Ooh! Hey, yo, I'm down. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll take the underground room. <laughs> Why is it called the underground room? Bob, we were literally underground in in, in the basement. Yeah. Okay, no, 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 fam. But it's not that b b b b bad, right? <laughs> nah, it's bad. It's it's it's. It's mad chilly in here. Yeah, I, I know, fam, but, but it, it's the best we can g g g g g get. <laughs> Let's g g get this working, bro. <sighs> b -b 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 Bet. Thank you so much for watching this week's new video. Make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe with your post notifications turned on. And now let's get straight into the shoutouts from our last video, starting with Lasset, Sufadin, Esso, and Reaper Yaz. If you guys want a shout out in our next video, make sure you guys comment right now what your favorite part of this week's video was, and you guys might get a shout out in our next video. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys follow us on Instagram, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace. <laughs> I'm gonna finish up clean, it's all